All right, what is up, YouTube? Leviathan Kraken here. And now we are in 2025. And the modding process for modding Subnautica has changed slightly. And there have been a few things that have confused a lot of people. And there are now texture edits. There are terrain edits. And a few minor things have changed since 2024. So I'm going to show you guys from start to finish how to mod Subnautica. And I'm going to be showing you specifically how to install my mod, a Subnautica Nightmare, the Unsafe Shallows. And I'm installing, I'm showing you this because it has texture and terrain edits, and that can be a little tricky. So let's go ahead and in, learn how to install Subnautica from start to finish. So this is the requirements that my mod needs. So we've got Nautilus, Terrain Extender, Texture Replacer, and the Silence is optional, but I'm going to show you how to install that as well since you're going to want creatures most likely. Uh, the, the, we're going to start with the Bepinex pack. Now this is... Bepinex for Subnautica. This is the very first thing that you're going to download. So we're going to go to this right here. And you're going to just want to kind of double check. This is, you know, what you want for Windows, Mac, and Linux. That's the latest version. All right, we're going to go to a manual download. And you're going to have to be logged in to Nexus Mods before you can download anything. A lot of people, you know, say that they couldn't get to the files. I'm like, well, you got to you gotta log in first. Okay, so here, here we are with a fresh install of Subnautica. I just downloaded it. And so we're just going to take everything over here. And we're going to drag this into here. All right, simple enough. Now we are going to start up Subnautica one time. And what this is going to be doing is generating the Bepinex plugins folder. Now, in 2024, you would see a black window pop up that, uh, that Bepinex created. But now... Bepinex has been updated so that that no longer happens. So if you don't see a window pop up, don't don't worry about it. It's still working. As long as you go into Bepinex and you see plugins, then you're good to go. So the next thing we're going to need, we've got that. Now Nautilus is absolutely step number two. You are going to need, this is a modding core library, and I would say at least 99% of all mods cannot work without this. So this is an absolute must. Slow download. Okay, we've got that open. Now this is now you see a plugins folder, and that's instructing you where to place it. So everything is going to go into Bepinex slash plugins. At least most of the mods. Some some will go in other folders, and I'm going to get to that here in a second. So you're going to open that up, and then you're going to drag Nautilus into your plugins folder. Bam, done. And now we are so let's close that. Okay, so let's go through this one at a time. Now, of course, you're going to want custom creatures, right? You're going to want the extinction. You're going to probably want the silence. You're going to want Return of the Ancients. And we might install Return of the Ancients on this video as well, just so that way you guys know how to get that installed. So this, you pay close attention to your Nexus requirements, Nautilus and Bepinex. We already have that installed. So we're going to go over to Files. And what this is, is ECC Library is what is the core library for creatures. So any... Any creatures you download, now we're going to open that up. And then we're just going to drag that also into the Bepinex plugins folder. Same process, I'm just going to be repeating it. So now, Epic Structure Loader. Now this, now this is really interesting because just recently, Lee23 came out with a structure editor. And you can download that and edit and create your own structures if you want to, but you're still going to need this structure loader first because this is what makes it so that the structure edits can be placed into your game. So look at your requirements. We got both of that. We're going to download this. Okay, now we're going to open that up. Plugins, Epic Structure Loader, same process. Just We're just going to be repeating this several times. Okay, we're going to close that out. Uh, okay, now we're going to go to Terrain Extender. Now this one, this one is fine, but there's a one called Terrain Patcher, and I'm going to get to that here in a second. Let's see requirements now I want you um, to also download this this is terrain patcher now this is going to be used for a lot of mods this one was updated and sadly it's it's not compatible with uh, the terrain extender so it says breaks compatibility compatibility okay and I want you to download the older version of it not the latest I want you to download I want to download this one yeah the slightly older one. <laughs> and the numbers are a little confusing because it says 1.0.2, even though the numbers are going down as the updates go up. So, yeah, ignore that. So, yeah, sorry, not this one. Download this one right here, Train Patcher. 
you're going to need this for a lot of mods to work. Um, so let's do the same thing here. Drag that over. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do the terrain extender. Uh, let's double check with our requirements. Okay, that's... Reef Editor is only if you're creating terrain optional. Uh, you don't really need that right now, so... Slow download. All right, terrain extender. Drag that over. Okay, so now let's, what's next? Now the texture replacer. Now this one's very important because a lot of people, including myself, with the Subnautica Nightmare mod here, I have changed a lot of the textures up on creatures. Like this, for example. We got a nice zombie flesh fish. <laughs> so the texture replacer is the file that you will download that allows the texture edits to to work to function so the latest version let's go to a manual download here and we're going to be doing the same thing texture replacer now the texture replacer actually has to generate its own folder so once we get all of this installed we're going to have to start up subnautica one more time to generate another set of folders but we'll worry about that here in a minute Okay, so now that we've got Texture Replacer installed, the Silence. Okay, that would be the last one on the list. And then we're going to also look up Return of the Ancients. Now, the Silence, yeah, see Terrain Patcher, and it says, see right here, Required must be version 1.0.2. And that's the one that we already installed because it's not the latest version. It was the previous one. So we have Terrain Extender, Nautilus, ECC Library already installed. And the reason why we're installing the silence is because I made a texture edit of the silence. <laughs> so he, he, I, I changed him to red instead of blue. So you'll, you'll see that if you download the Nightmare mod. Okay, that's a, that's a 51 megabyte file. It's taking just a minute here. Okay, so there we are. Now we got the silence. We should have the silence Leviathan in our gameplay. So... Let's go ahead and just kind of look up um, Return of the Ancients demo. Now, I don't believe that is on... Yeah, this is, Return of the Ancients is not on Nexus. So, okay, it took me a minute to find this, actually. It was on the... Um, if you go to the Architects of the Unknown Discord, you go to Mod News, and there was a link to the download link right here, but I will put the link for you guys in the description. It is under GitHub. So we're going to download Return of the Ancients demo. So this is going to tell you everything you need. Architects library. Now that's another thing that we're going to need for this to work. ECC library and Nautilus. We already have that installed. So let's install Return of the Ancients demo. And then the Architects library. So we're going to click that. So we've got two things downloading there. Okay, so now we're going to plug in Architects library. We got that done. And Return of the Ancients demo. Okay, so just so you know, and just so you guys have Return of the Ancients and the silence on your playthrough, that shows you where you can get this file and how to get it installed. So, all right, now let's start up Subnautica just one more time. And what this is going to do is generate some extra folders for your texture replacer mod. It has to generate a texture replacer folder in your Bepinex slash config. So I'm going to, we're going to wait for this to load and then I'm going to show you where the texture edit files will go. All right. So there we go. We got Return of the Ancients demo loaded. Everything's good to go. So let's go ahead and just quit out. So now we are moving on to the part of the video where I'm showing you how to install a Subnautica Nightmare. This is my mod that I created. But as you can see, it's not like your average mod. It has texture edits and structure edits that you're going to have to learn how to install. You're going to go to files. You're going to go to manual download. I already have it downloaded right here, a Subnautica Nightmare. So you're going to open this up and you're going to see plugins and then a config folder. Now these are going to tell you exactly where each file is going to go corresponding to the folders in your Subnautica directory. So let's start with the config. Assuming you got everything installed right, and Bepinex and everything's working. When you click on config, you should see, see now these are the config files for every mod. And now you're gonna open, okay, we're gonna go into that config. Now you see texture replacer, open that. See all the JSON files. This is what tells Subnautica to change the textures of each thing that I've edited. Say for example, the silence. This right here 
has all the, the coding and everything on wh what colors that the silence is going to be changed to. So, now let's go into your Subnautica folder back here. Now we're going to go back to Texture re Replacer. Now here's a config file, for example. So we're just going to go to here. I just click Control A. So now we're going to drag that over. And it says, eh, yeah, I guess so. I guess we'll replace that, whatever. So now that's all of our JSON files that we need. Let's go back out of that. Now we're going to be going into, let's back out of this as well. Now let's go to plugins. Plugins here. So here's all of our mods. And then here is, and then here is the files that you're going to have to drag over that will go into these corresponding folders as well. Text replacer, assets, everything right here. So texture replacer, assets, we've got an empty folder. So let's, so let's drag, control A, drag everything into here. So these are all the texture pictures that will go to those creatures or flora, fauna, whatever. Now let's get out of that. Let's go back into that. Now let's move on to terrain patcher. Now there it is, terrain patcher. Now these are some of the patches that I made. These are like the little hellmouth things in the nightmare mod. So, and, and if you download another terrain edited mod, then you're going to have to do the same thing with that one. You're just going to drag these little opto tree patch files. It's It was made with structure editor. Uh, oh, actually terrain editor. I'm sorry. And then this, you drag that into there. So now let's back out of that. Okay, now we're going to go to epic structure loader. Let's do the same thing here. Epic Structure Loader. Now, here is where your structure files will go. Structures. And this is where... This is where you can basically place any object you want in the game, and you can edit their size and where you want to put them using the Epic Structure Editor, or Loader. And then I... So, you're going to drag that over. So, this has got everything it needs now. That should be everything. Yeah. So that was how to install my Subnautica Nightmare mod. So let's just double check that it is working. Go back out of here. Open up Subnautica and we're going to see what we get. Now don't be surprised if your game takes a long time to load. <laughs> I mean, I'm running on a um, 11th gen i7 and a 2080 and it, it takes a good minute and a half just to load the game, like Return of the Ancients really uh, is it's a very intensive, intensive mod. It changes up a lot, especially when you're changing up textures and everything else. Your game's going to take a lot longer to load, so just don't panic if it takes a while, depending on your computer's specs. So here we are. Let's see what we've got. Okay, let's make sure everything is working. Oh, well, there's our <laughs> there's our Reaper spitting out blood. And here's exactly what we saw on Anthomnia's video with all of the fleshy, nasty stuff all over the place. Now, I one thing I forgot to point out is that this mod will look 10 times better if you install both the Red Plague and the Spooky Subnautica mod by Brad is Brad. Now, I, I'm, I can show you what it looks like with both of those mods uh, combined with this one, it is absolute insanity. This looks cool, but it looks way better when you install both of those mods alongside of it. Now, of course, I can show you what is involved in installing the Red Plague. It should be, you should have everything that you need to install that. Okay, the Red Plague Act 1. Now, if you go to Requirements. Now, we there's one thing called World Height Lib that you will have to install. But you already know how to do that now. You just click on this. And then requirements for that. We've already got that. So we'll go over to manual download. We've got that. So let's go back out of that. And then we will download this as well. Okay, we've got that downloaded. Now, Spooky Subnautica. This is probably one of the one of my favorite mods. I mean, if you don't have this installed with R the Red Plague, then what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? You need this mod with the Red Plague. Install this right now. Okay, we've got that. Let's double check to make sure that we have all of the requirements. Uh, doesn't really he doesn't really have requirements on here. Now he does say there are some bugs, uh, but 
I haven't really run into any game breaking issues with this particular mod, but this goes well with when we're going to show you what it looks like when we combine both of those mods. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these files in here right now. Spooky Subnautica, and we, here's all of our Bepinex slash plugins. So that is that is all we need to do is drag that over just like we did everything else. And let's go to World Height Lib. Plugins, drag that over. And looks like the Red Plague is still taking just a few more minutes to download. Okay, now we're dragging the Red Plague over. Okay, now we have got a crazy, crazy playthrough right here. Let's see what this looks like. That legit took like three minutes to load. Whoa! Oh my gosh! I've got the Red Plague crazy Subnautica-like logo and then Return of the Ancients demo. Like, oh my gosh, my intro is so cursed. All right, let's see. Let's see just how cursed this is going to be, guys. Oh no, we are going to die so quickly. This is not going to be good at all. Wow, as you can see, the the color of the sky has changed. There are these creepy pattern or uh, particle effects from the Spooky Subnautica mod. This is definitely how you want to experience the Red Plague. Oh man, and this is daytime. Like, like if I go to day, like that's as bright as it gets. So we've got all of our fleshy uh, texture edits right here. Oh, see, okay, there's the hell mouth that I created with my structure edit. I basically used terrain editor and structure editor to make these. And then these are like the mounds of flesh everywhere. Now, if you don't like all of the extra leviathans that my mod adds, you can also... You could always just go into the structures... Uh, structure editor slash structures folder. I'll show you. Plugins. Epic structure loader and structures. And you can delete some of these if you don't want extra leviathans around you then you know that would um make your playthrough a little bit easier but yeah so everything's working guys um so this is how you mod subnautica and this is how you install my nightmare mod so if you like this don't forget to leave a like leave a comment if you got nothing to say then just leave an emoji that helps with the algorithm subscribe to my channel i cover a lot of Subnautica mods, I plan on covering Subnautica 2 when it comes out. And I cover a lot of other underwater games. So yes, I'm Leviathan Kraken signing off, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.